All right, back to the climb here. I think 30 is my goal. I think if I could do 30, I'd feel pretty good. I honestly, 20 I felt pretty good with. Like, that was already... Like I said, I think it's tough for me to expect much beyond 20. Uh, because every now and then I just, I just get this brain fog, and it's not like I want to quit playing on those days. I still want to play, but... If there's a tough run, I just I don't have the mental fortitude on those type of days to to not lose. But uh, I will uh, keep trying to get better, maybe to the point where I don't lose those. That's kind of the goal, right? I see improvement at least, which is always good. So these starters are interesting. I mean, it's uh, one of my favorite combos: uh, the Primordium with Awoken. We have the Ember Drain set up. Well, people, uh, part of it. Now, here's the, the interesting thing, though. If I do find a sweeper or an animus of will, all I need to do is find a quick upgrade or infusion. Let's see what the banner unit setup is. Okay, we got an awoken. Awoken, super good. Steals at both. That's amazing. That's I can't tell you how good that is. Um, the thing is, I could just play void binding on my dude and not care if I can't. I mean, right now, all the good cards in my deck don't even cost anything anyway. Um, so yeah, Sweeper Quick would probably be the best, or Animus are about equal. I could even do an Animus of Speed if I get a Multi-Strike upgrade on it, probably. That's iffy. I, I'm kind of relying on finding either Trample or... Furnace Staff at that point, but, but we also don't know if we're getting Superfood, so we'll see. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The, th the one thing I will say is I typically prefer Root Seeds because it makes me able to take Stalwart here a lot more. Whereas, whereas now, if I take Stalwart, it's a pretty greedy play. I mean, there's no advantage of Stalwart over Aggressive. At least for now. The advantage would be that I could get Super Food later. I think the smart play is probably just to take aggressive here. But my god, is it the boring one. This technically gets me more health in... I think, right? Five? Yeah. Alright. This is probably the best case for chest plates. Now I wish I took Stalwart, because I could probably justify this. But it's fine. I mean, aggressive will get the job done. In fact, I don't even know I'm complaining. Just full aggressive here is going to be amazing. Spikes is t super takeable because of the chest plates. We even start with a unit. That's good. Could have avoided the Ember Drain, but I don't think it'll matter. We don't really have any high cost stuff. As you can see, this is pretty irrelevant. Unfortunate about that collector, but hey, that's how it goes. Bastard. You know you're a bastard, right? Just hope you know that. Wow, chest plates early game. Not bad, huh? Haha, <laughs> you got got, son, you got got. Boom. Trade or dust? Trade. Hmm. Is a vine grasp good here? Maybe. I could break spell shield. I think I could take a grasp. Multi strike.
Allow me to overthink this now. <laughs> I mean, I should just take us, right? It's gotta be husk. It's weird because I would like, yeah, I, I don't know what, 120, so I can't really, yeah, I can't, well, I could technically re-roll and get really lucky and get quick. I could do that. Is it worth the money? It's probably worth a shot, right? Okay, I would have had quick, but I got no money for it. Oops. Yes, I do. Totally remembered that I had that. Totally did. And that is why I did the reroll. Okay, just kidding, of course, I'm an idiot. But hey, that worked out for the best. We really don't need stewards. We probably don't need restores. I mean, the stewards right now are better than restores, right? I don't have to go this route anymore either, although I could get like an Animus infusion into it. That's really all I'd want though at the Awoken tier trying to think what else this deck needs. I mean, I kind of already won. I'll, I'll be honest, I believe this multi-striking quick hust with full primordium aggressive, I don't think it loses. I don't, I'm, and I can immortal trade every now and then, like, I really don't see how I'm going to lose from here. Well, either way, let's uh, get rid of, Plinks probably don't need, right? We're probably not hitting that much of a steal up go the other route. Okay, no unit draft. Oh, never lucky. I really don't need to infuse anything into this husk as a thing. Like, I will just kill everything. Come on. Yes, that is where it's at. Got the money. Yeah, I kill everything. Just end turn. We know where this is headed. <laughs> I need these. Maybe this for the uh, Spikes Channeler kill. Or Soft Way out of Ember Drain. I, su I suppose it's worth an add. Yeah, I just don't think we need these. Diligent. Even if I, like I said, I, th I think just putting my units down wins me the game at this point. Well, do I just try to get a good infusion? Because what do I even need at a Merchant of Magic? Plus damage, maybe. That's literally it. I guess Void Binding on Holdover or something. I don't know. Yeah, we got a Holdover on top of everything. Hmm. Let's check this out. Kind of like this. There's really no punishment. I'm not digging for anything in this deck. Uh, but it does give me a way out of Ember Drain. So I'm like thinking of maybe just zero costing this Void Binding and holding it over. Wouldn't be that great against Diligent, except I can probably... I don't know. I just don't, I don't have to play it against Diligent is the thing. I may want to still keep my shards low because Diligent is an issue if he comes into the fight with stealth, potentially. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold this over. I mean, is there anything else worth holding over? I don't think so. Let's just do this. This will, like, carry me through a lot of fights here. And uh, I, I guess I can hold this gold. Spell Chain... If I needed extra space, I could do it on the space prism, but I just don't. Yeah, I really just don't need these.
even these things die since I'm multi-striking with these grenades. I don't even need to uh, put life steal on or anything like that. I guess it's like at this point, hey look what I finally found, um, at this point it's, I'm just trying to think of any potential gotcha scenarios that I'm not thinking of where I might run into issues, diligence like the only one, I'm just trying to see, like will I be able to kill diligent without the need of something extra here, I feel like I'll be pretty solid against diligent. Yeah. Well, we got an Ember Drain deck without any real way out of it other than the occasional mine collapse. All good. I don't need that. Too much pip. I think we just do this. And I could remove cons... Uh, trying to think how I work diligent. Well, right now, I, mi I might as well hell vent the uh, Void Binding as much as possible, I think. Try for an in unit that I can infuse into it here. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh, not really, right? Like, I, I have Plinks for Morsel Gen. I guess now I just need to think, can I get to 100 shards? Do I have enough, like if I just get spell damage, I've got the planks, I should leave them around, so, hmm, I could always put a steward into a steward, or a steward into the huskerman if I need to, I think a steward infusion would be better than those, honestly, this is pretty redundant, but these just kind of aren't that good. This will help with the boss every now and then, I think. Not really. Who knows? It's probably worth a hit, right? Or worth a take. I still think this is what we duplicate. I need to hit the next Merchant of Magic, which is a ways, a ways from now, unfortunately, and get that thing down to a zero cost. This, by the way, would still be an, like, an even more insane superfood build. Uh, yeah. If I get if I get some damage to my pyre here or whatever, it'll be the only fight I think it happens on. Well, I fucked that up. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. We're gonna kill that guy anyway. I play superfood so much, I almost was inclined to put it on the Primordium there. Like, we're still killing him anyway. We don't need to, uh, play the planks. We're already one-shotting everything. We'll have our Calcified Embers after this fight, too, so... Extra hilarity. both now. Scourges obviously hurt me, but they don't hurt me that much. Well, hello there. I could just put it down by one ember. It's a decent uh, counter to Diligent. I think it's worth it. 
get those things shuffling in between those and the calcified embers, um, or the excavated embers. We've got a lot of spell fodder. And every now and then we'll just lose the uh, things. I think I would go this route, over this route. I think. Do I really need a third void binding is the question. I think I do. I think I do. We need to try to get some of these working for us. So 30 here is great. 30 is great on those planks too, but right now that mine collapse is actually pretty important. I don't think restores will be doing anything for us. And we could put a steward into husk here. We can go to 100 shards if we can. Eh, well, I'm probably not hellventing something that costs me shards, so. Would I need heals or buffs more? Heal? Hmm. I don't think I need this. It's not the best uh, old magic. crazy, but I think I'll do this. I mean, against Diligent, it really covers my bases. And if I can stack up enough damage shield, that should do the trick. It's pretty decent, I'd say. Alright, we got this from the start, so we know where that's going. Oh, never lucky. Just kidding. Boom. You did. One of these days I'll get this furnace tap to be play playable. I think it's the next ring that I can do it. Might as well uh, hold these, right? I don't even know why I'm playing those. Easy peasy. I don't even remember which boss it was, but I hope it's Stealth Boss. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he'll get pwned. The only one that might maybe have a chance is the Multi-Striker, but even that guy I don't think is doing much against me when I'm doing, you know, almost 500 damage a turn. Should be five damage, 500 by this point. Yeah. Over 500. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff I need to Ember reduce, but I think I'm going to add this anyway. I'm like overcompensating for Diligent, and I'm fine with that. Pyrogrow doesn't help us. We'll be so Ember drained in each fight that, you know, it just doesn't matter. Uh, minus two Ember upgrade, please. Haha, <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. Now I can just do the ember upgrades on ember cash and preserve thorns and we're good. We're at 100, we should just leave it there. But, I'll go to 110 just to get rid of another restore. Not that I really need to be that, you know, poignant with this deck. We have a steward left, right? Let's just get rid of... Uh, you know what, let's get rid of a restore, because then it's zero cost. I can play it when I'm ember drained. I think that's better. I'm gonna just remove Steward's the old-fashioned way. That is so tempting, but I know it's probably not the right call. Is anything worth double stacking? Not really. So let's get this down. I actually like the Ember Cash better than the Preserved Thorns in this scenario. I guess this is worth doing. We're not gonna be able to remove all this stuff. Another holdover. I could hold that over. It's probably worth it. Up until Divinity, that's a pretty good play. I can kill purifiers and stuff. Depending on what's, you know, played first. Let's get rid of some stewies. Uh, maybe some planks, I don't know. Maybe some restores. Turns out there's a lot in this deck I need to remove. I think that's good, though. Got the easiest fell. Hmm. 
That rubber morsel won't do anything, but that's fine. Now we can actually use this. Nice. 12 ember drain. I don't think that one ember is going to do much for me. I got this, though. Don't know uh, what I'm really going to do with it. But, uh, you know, it's there. Oops. trying to imagine this is diligent, and it looks like I have a lot of spell fodder, which is nice. You know, I even have these space prisms, which I don't really use the space at all, but they'll be nice spell fodder. I can... All I really need is one of these void bindings to stick around, but the longer I can play all three in a turn, the better. Jesus, how many of these things do I got? It's basically a deck of spell fodder and void bindings and, s and f uh, a furnace tap. Here you can have that. And that'll do it. As if it wasn't busted enough already. Nope. Not even gonna look at him. There is nothing I need thrown my way in this deck. We can just, uh... Zero cost. Ooh, well, we definitely hard countered Diligent now. <laughs> Jesus. Let's get this down to a zero cost so we can play it. 420, my friends. I gotta say, I, like, absolutely love it when you do these weird Amber Train decks where you just zero cost everything in your deck. It's surprisingly effective a lot of the time. I should probably do it more of the time, to be honest. Uh, whatever, we can, we can take a little bit of shards. Let's give Diligent a little bit of a chance. You don't even have to face Penitent, wow. The world is on my side. Kill that guy later. How about now? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's just throw these out. Get a little bit of that going. I don't really know why I'm keeping that one on hold over. I guess just for the thrill of it. I should actually keep it on holdover for the, the boss, who knows, uh, living armor. Well, I don't need it for him. But we'll take it. Poor living armor. You didn't stand a chance. These are what are known as skips in an Ember Drain build. Uh, Ensnare, I... 
trying to think if there's any way we would ever need that. On principle, I'm going to take it, even though I don't think I need it. I think the, the principle with it is it's, it just doesn't have any downside to be in your deck. I think it's one of the more underrated cards in the game. Where's the Vortex? We should just go here. I don't even need the Hellvent, but we'll take it. I, I might Hellvent the uh, Furnace Tap. Maybe. We'll see. Nothing really worth spell chaining, I would say. We can keep these shards a little low. Just guarantee the uh, kill on what's his name. Hell's Banners is a way if we actually generated morsels, which we're not doing. Uh, out of Ember Drain, I should say. Well, good to know those artifacts were bad. All the RNG, the bad RNG was all focused toward the end of the run, apparently. Just kidding. Too bad we don't get the usual Pyrestone housing. We would have got it if we went left. Let's get rid of store. And plink. And Hellvent Furnace Tap or Void or Void Binding. Furnace Tap, right? And remove anything else? These? And... This? I'll have to set up mid against what's-his-name Divinity. I guess maybe Divinity could catch me by surprise. We'll see. I'm pretty sure mid should be fine. I, I'll, I should keep the Immortal Trade, though, just in case I have to heal back. Um, you know who. I might even want to go mid in this fight. Just practice mid. See how it does. We got the vengeful shards out of the way. All oh, right, that is a thing, isn't it? Um, I guess I could have purged this one. Might have been a more intelligent thing to do, but hey, who needs intelligence? Hey, look, see? Remember when I said I didn't need ensnare? It does turn out I don't need it, though. I mean, uh, kinda, kinda, kinda not. Kinda not. I guess we can keep this on holdover. It's good for those purifier kills. I should save some of them, maybe. I will shuffle those in, though. Yeah, let's save some of these, I think. So interesting to note, 130 shards is the point where the waves match the stealth. So if you want him to enter floor one without stealth, you got to keep it 130 or below. Oh, what am I saying? I have cursed vines. I don't really need to be like that worried about uh, keeping my pool clean or anything. Not pool clean, uh, keeping fodder, I should say, because I'll, I'll always be guaranteed fodder as long as I don't draw 10. Not only is it nice fodder, it's like stuff that can kill, um, what do you call it? Uh, I guess I could have kept those around to like allow myself to play, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, shards. See, I drew too much there somehow. I don't know what I drew. But I drew something that fucked it all up. I will keep that one around, I guess. Hmm. 
Mind collapse is saving me like damage here and there to the fire. We'll keep this guy around just in case I draw. Yeah, I'll draw a shard. Well, I got the excavated ember next turn. It doesn't really matter what I play. That way we just don't have to deal with the uh, losing of a pyre health. Alright, I'm pretty confident in the mid floor after that. I don't think I have too much need, need to worry, because the thing is I could go top still if I don't care about the damage that Primordium gives me. But it looks like mid should be fine. I draw stuff so fast. I've already got this, yeah, we, we're, we're good. As for how we want to do this... I'm going to break their shields like this. Might as well do that. Might be... Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's do this. Um... Yeah, I guess there's... Might as well just put these here, huh? Yeah, we don't care about drawing... Whatchamacallit next turn? The... Or the, uh... Cursed Vines. Cursed Vines has, I feel, already kind of ran its course, so to speak. This is, okay, we'll just do all of this. You can have that. I'm trying to see, like, why am I taking so much damage here? Actually, Cursed Vines would have been nice here. Oh well, let's just break the shield so we can kill it next turn. We don't really want to take all of that, uh... Spikes damage. Let's see, we could double kill that. Not that it matters, but there we go. Do you have missing health? It doesn't look like it. And we'll have enough to kill that, so it really doesn't matter what we're doing here, really. Uh, we can draw a card, though. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. It's no fun. I wonder if there's any way I could make that not happen. I could do 30. Yeah, I'd be short no matter what. Maybe I could have probably prepped it a little better with a little bit more foresight. Oh well. Three damage is the punish. No flawless game, I guess. We know in our hearts it was flawless. He'll be dead next turn. Uh, you and your spell shield bullshit. You and your spell shield bullshit. Uh, maybe we just don't even keep that on holdover then. Not really doing anything for us. Alright. Not hard at all. 34 minutes, and I probably could have been a lot faster. I mean, I will say, uh, my original thought that just the unit and Primordium was probably a little off. I do think that defense was needed. Um, but there was a lot of different ways we could have had defense, right? Like, Void Binding ended up just being fine, so... It's a pretty fun one, if you want to try that one. Link in the description. I'm going to give the MVP actually to, to Void Binding. I think I need to be more open to the zero-cost Void Binding holdover strat, which is just god-tier in a lot of cases. You know, you can have these type of decks. We really didn't need those, the ways out. Of, we had soft ways out of Ember Drain. We, re we really didn't need those. They were just there to have them. We would have been fine with just the Void Bindings, really. That's it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.